So what's up Mr. Farm? What's going on? Welcome back to another gameplay tutorial video. In this video, we are gonna be taking a look at how to perform how to perform that skill move step over in FC Mobile properly. So let's start. So before starting, if you are a beginner, you have to select the skill move. You have to have the skill move in your inventory. So for that, we are gonna be going to team editing. After that, you can see the skill move section available here. And as you can see, step over and exit is not available, is not a part of my original four skill moves. So I'm gonna be replacing faint and exit. So I'm gonna click on faint and exit. I'm gonna click on change. And there I can find step over and exit. It's a two-star skill moves. We're gonna click on assign. And here are the rest of the skill moves that I have bought from the store. And we are gonna be talking about that in some probably later videos if you need eventually. In order to perform a particular skill move properly, application is very important. If you know where to use the skill move, in what situations you need to do a particular skill move, you will definitely succeed in successfully dribbling past your opponent. And also, don't forget another key factor that is direction of the skill moves. You know, there are many players in game right now like me who are kind of over dependent on a particular skill move called a lane change. And they are, you know, they fear to play with a 3 star skill move striker because lane change is not available. Well, this step over and exit skill move can actually be a very similar skill move like lane change but it's 2 star so it means that almost everyone can perform this skill move. The application is quite similar to that uh, of the lane change because if the defender is in front of you this skill move works best well don't forget the very important factor while performing this skill move is direction because you definitely need to give a direction to this skill move with the help of your cursor if you want to successfully dribble past the defenders for me if you are facing the sidelines uh, this skill move works best like if you are moving around the D box in front of goal like in this kind of situations this is the best position best situation to use uh, step over and exit step over and exit well the previous situation there was a little ball control issue that is a glitch in EA now we're gonna be doing we're gonna be scoring a few goals using that skill move step over and this is probably the best situation you can use this step over skill move look this is the situation where you have to use this step over skill move. Well, overuse of a skill move is definitely not good for your gameplay. And guys, don't forget to practice these skill moves in those AI matches before making them, before giving these skill moves a debut in those division rivals matches. Because practice and consistency eventually is gonna help you master the art of skill moves. So guys, hopefully this video was really helpful and informative for you. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if there is any points that have missed on this particular skill moves. And don't forget to comment on what skill moves I'm gonna be making my next video. And also make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.